Ikea is one of those stores that is so overwhelming you just kind of black out. And if you don't know what to look for, you are leaving without picking up some incredible gems. So in today's video, I'm sharing 20 Ikea finds under $20 that you cannot live without. All of these basics are incredibly affordable and incredibly high quality. And I have to admit that I would even rebuy some of these items even if the prices went up. The first item under $20 you want to pick up from Ikea is this milk frother. So it is $1.99 and it almost has a five star rating, which you know is very, very, very rare from Ikea. If you want to incorporate your sugar, your Splenda, if you want to mix up your AG1 with water, you're able to do that very efficiently thanks to this milk frother. Now I've had the same one for about three years now and it's still kicking and I've changed the batteries once and I didn't use any special batteries. This is just a magical device and I find that it never ever breaks. When it comes to cleaning a milk frother, all you do is put it into a container with some dish soap and you froth it like that and it gets nice and squeaky clean. I am also obsessed with their sponges. I have talked about them before so they are white and gray sponges and you get a set of three for under two dollars. A sponge these days costs you around five dollars a sponge if you want a high quality sponge. This is a scrub daddy family but I do love these ones from Ikea because one they are dishwasher safe and two they look cute. I also only buy my wooden spoons for cooking from Ikea. I think that they are just great. So they have three different types of these spoons and then they're $1.99 each. And I think they are just wonderful. I prefer to cook with wooden spoons as opposed to plastic ones. I just often find that I can taste the plastic in my food, which is very off putting at least to me. And that doesn't happen with the wooden spoons. All I wanna say is give them a good wash when you bring them home before you use them. And I do love that they actually have a hook on the end. So if you are trying to save space in your kitchen, you can actually just mount your um, spoons on the wall you're cooking utensils on the wall without taking up precious drawer or countertop space next i want to talk about this milk frothing jug so this is eight dollars and twelve cents a little bit more expensive when it comes to ikea but i really love it because this is what i brew my coffee into every single day now a lot of people brew their coffee into glass or right into a cup but again we do not buy coffee out anymore we've not bought coffee out in almost like three or four months now and we've saved so much money so a huge part of that was investing in a higher quality coffee bar setup. It is dishwasher safe. You can fit almost two full cups of coffee in there, which is great. We are actually able to do a full cleaning cycle on the Nespresso with one use of this jar. Now this is a newer item to Ikea. This is a jar that has a pour spout. It's about $5 and I love this. So this is great for sal salad dressings, oils, things like that. I'm actually using mine for olive oil. And the reason being is that a lot of you have said that you love the ones that we found on Amazon, but they're clear and oil goes bad when it's in a clear container so I wanted to find something that worked for you and this one is really fantastic because it is a dark amber glass literally all you do is you open it up you pour your oil in there and you seal the lid there is no resealing and unsealing like you do when you have like a big olive oil bottle this is just a gravity pour so when you tip it over um, the gravity kind of forces the oil out and then when you tip it upright and the lid closes and you don't have to worry beyond that absolute only place you can get glassware that is comparable in price to a Ikea is one, the Dollar Tree, where their designs are a little bit more lackluster comparatively, and then also the thrift store. The only benefit of the thrift store is that you can find genuine crystal that people donated as opposed to glass. So I don't know if you've seen this on TikTok, but there's this awesome hack. I'll link the original creator below. And she basically says that if you tap a glass and you hear it ring, like it rings continuously, that's crystal. And if it thuds, it's glass. So that's the test you want to do at the thrift store. And if you're just finding glass upon glass upon glass, head to your local Ikea. Ikea, you're going to get designs that are a little bit more bespoke, um, a little bit more novel, um, and will elevate your dining setup a little bit more than just like the plain glass where you might get at the thrift store or at the Dollar Tree. I also don't want you to sleep on their like coffee mug setup as well. Again, they have everything for your coffee bar from, um, you know, a tea kettle to a steeper and things like that. All of those items are under $20. All of like their mugs are under $20 and they're very, very cute. And I think if you are looking for a more modern and contemporary or Scandinavian, obviously inspired coffee bar setup, this is the only place you can go to achieve that on a dime. Now we aren't going to talk too much about other dining items, but I do want to turn your attention to their table runners. So I love table runners. The only downside of Ikea table runners is they tend to be a little bit narrow. So the longest one I've seen is I think maybe 80 inches, but most of them are 60, 63 inches. And that's fine. If you're working with a small space, that's perfect. But I urge you to check out their table runners 
for the ends of your bed. So most of them will fit a queen size bed or lower. So if you're looking to add a little bit more pizzazz to the end of the bed, a little bit more color, but you don't want to invest in a full quilt or bedspread because those can be hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Ikea actually does have table runners under $20. So I picked up this one for $15 for a makeover that I'm doing for my sister-in-law and be sure to smash that subscribe button because that makeover is coming soon and that makeover is entirely under $200. We rely on reused items and items under $200. It is a more traditional vintage inspired space so if those are spaces that you enjoy and you enjoy budget friendly makeovers smash that subscribe button because that video is coming in a few weeks. Now the next kitchen dining item I actually want to talk about is this vegetable brush. So this vegetable brush is $1.69 and it's great for cleaning off your vegetables when you bring it home from the store. But I actually want to turn your attention to the bathroom because that's where I want to use it. I will say if you want to use this in the kitchen in the bathroom please do not use the same one by two. I just feel the need to say that. But what I like to do with this in the bathroom is actually use it to wash your makeup brushes. Those makeup brush washing pads can be $5, $10. You get this one for under $2. All you do is put your cleansing soap, whatever type of soap you like to use to clean your makeup brushes onto this and you just wipe the bristles on the pad and you're able to get it nice and squeaky clean. So I've had this for going on a year now and I love it because it is a great way to scrub all parts of your body. Literally just doing the motion made my back kind of itch because it really exfoliates me super well. So basically it has two handles and you can use it to wash all parts of your body so you just lather it with soap and it's able to cover your back the middle of your back your legs absolutely everywhere then after I've used it a few times I just put it in my washing machine and my dryer and then I use it again if you like to remove your makeup with makeup pads and you find that you're using hundreds and hundreds of them and you want to be a little bit more sustainable you can pick up this set of 10 reusable makeup pads with a pouch from Ikea so these are great because you get 10 of them you can use them for a number of days to remove your eyeliner to add your toner or something like that and then when they're all dirty, you just put them in the bag that they come with, put the bag in the washing machine, and you're able to get them nice and clean. If you just find yourself going through tons of cotton rounds, you want to be a little bit more sustainable. These are really great. Plus, they're very, very soft on the skin, and they don't leave any of that cotton debris that can happen when you're working with cheaper cotton rounds. IKEA also has really, really, really incredible towels. You've heard me talk about them before, but my favorite towel is this waffle towel. So I have them in both white and cream but they come in four total colors they also come in a myriad of sizes so they have washcloths hand towels normal towels and bath sheets I used to only buy the bath sheets but I also picked up a few bath towels recently and they are really great these towels look kind of thin at first glance, but I find them to be one of the most absorbent towels on the market. I find that with other towels, they will absorb, but then they get very heavy, and I don't experience that with these IKEA towels. They also have hooks attached to them so that you can put them on um, pegs in your bathroom. You don't have to worry about having a specific towel bar to accommodate them, or you know, kind of hooking them on haphazardly and it falling on the floor in the middle of the night. Now, I do not have hair, so I do not need this, but I often find or I've learned that a lot of people use two towels every day, one for their body and one for their hair. I had to put an end to that in our household because that's too much laundry, but I found out that a lot of people do that. So you actually want to pick up this hair towel wrap from Ikea. It's very absorbent. All you do is you put your hair in it, you twist it, and you tie it in the back. And the final bath item I want to talk about is actually the set of slippers. So these slippers come in a small medium and a large extra large. I believe I picked up the large extra large and I wear a women's nine for frame of reference. And these slippers are super comfortable. These have incredible incredible grip. So they have a standard sole on the base, so they have really good grip, um, and they fit a fairly wide size foot and they're very comfortable. So if you don't like to walk around with wet feet in your home, or you just don't like having your bare feet on the floor, but you don't want to wear shoes in your house, these are a great alternative. I mean, they're kind of similar to the ones that you would get at a hotel with just a little bit more support. Now I want to talk very briefly about textiles. So of course, Ikea has tons of amazing curtains, and there are many, many, many ones that you can pick up for under $20. And if you didn't know this at Ikea, they actually sell their curtains in pairs so when you pick up a pack it's not just one panel you get two panels for that price now of course ikea curtain hardware is great if you're balling on a budget so they have their curtain rings and their curtain rods all of which i believe are actually under ten dollars not just under 20 but i want to actually call your attention to this curtain wire so as i said i'm doing a project
project for my sister-in-law soon under $200 and we wanted to create a canopy and to do so we needed to ceiling mount curtain and curtain rod tracks can be incredibly expensive we've talked about this before in the YouTube comments you guys say I want ceiling mounted curtains but man is this expensive so this actually just uses wire to accomplish that look for less it's so easy to install a lot more lightweight and super affordable so this pack is $15.99 so if you're wanting to achieve that ceiling mounted curtain look in 2024 you want to pick up this wire from Ikea to do so and it's one of those items where every single thing you need comes in the pack besides wire cutters so pick those up if you're thinking about picking this up but I love that you don't have to run back to the store if this is a hack you want to do. Ikea also has a bunch of rugs so whether you want jute rugs or faux fur rugs you can get both of these for under $20 at Ikea. This is my favorite one this is a faux fur one that's around $14 it comes in different colorways so whatever colorway works for with your color scheme that's what you should pick up. These are not just great for entry rugs or rugs in the bathroom but they're also great for brightening up a floor if you cannot afford a full rug that's what I'm doing in my sister-in-law's place they're also good for chairs so if you have wooden chairs or metal chairs and you're finding them to be very uncomfortable but you do not have the budget to buy brand new chairs try this hack just drape these on the back of the chair or on the seat and you're going to add a lot more texture a lot more movement to your dining setup without having to buy new chairs and again you can get different colorways um, they have brown versions they have black versions they have cream they have two-tone versions so you can get a myriad of them to kind of adorn your counter stools your bar stools your dining stools to elevate the look without breaking the bank now let's talk tech briefly first I found this lamp and this is not the cutest lamp I've ever seen but it was under $20 and I did want to touch on it because I have found that lighting in Ikea has gotten so expensive as of late and I just can't stand behind that but this piece is $10 but keep in mind you do need to buy that $6 light bulb so it's around $16 realistically since you do want to turn the light on but man does it give off a lot of light what I leave this as is probably not this is a lamp that if you want to do some sort of DIY whether that be um, put it in like a vase or something and put a lampshade on it to still have something that is hardwired but it's kind of a DIY lamp um, this is what I would use for that I would upcycle this in some way but it is such an affordable lamp base because again it is under $20 next I want to shout about the shoe organizer so it's three dollars and fifty five cents um, and it is a metal shoe organizer which is just a great space saving item so basically what you do is you put it together and you put one shoe on top and one on bottom so if you have a set and you actually want to stack them on top of one another as opposed to having them side by side and taking up a lot of space horizontally this will take up vertical space and will allow you to maximize whatever closet or shoe area you have now as I said I have a size 9 foot so I've demoed this with a size 9 foot and then a size I guess 11 foot um, and you can see that it can accommodate both shoe sizes I will also say that if you have shoes that are a little bit um, shallow in height kind of like my slippers you can actually dub up, double up the shoes that you have on this metal shoe holder but it is very very sturdy super easy to put together and great for small spaces so if you were getting organized in the new year this could be a really great option for you now a lot of people are working from home or you are back in the office and you want to just have your phone kind of on display or you like to have multiple devices up when you're working or when you're cooking so you want to pick up this phone organizer this is a wooden option super easy to put together you can even take the cord for your phone and drape it underneath so it can be plugged in while you are still working but it will hold any single phone so that you can have it up either vertically or horizontally so that you can see your phone and see another monitor or the food that you're cooking or whatever at the same time I have mine in my bathroom so that while I'm doing my skincare I can watch TV because I get so bored during skincare I want to make sure that I'm still doing Doing it so that's where I use mine but I have to talk about this other phone stand because this blew my mind so this is actually a keychain phone stand so if you're a content creator if you're really anybody and you're on the go and want to like pop your phone up if you're going out for a solo meal and you want to watch TV while you're out to eat this is great you're able to have your phone in both the horizontal and vertical orientations and it is just wonderful and it really isn't like cumbersome on your keychain I barely notice it and I love that I'm able to have a phone stand on the Go. but that is it for today's video those were 20 ikea finds under 20 dollars that are incredibly high quality and worth picking up i promise you once you pick up these items from ikea you're not going to get these basics from anywhere else this is the best bang for your buck 
What other IKEA items do you want me to chat about here on YouTube? Be sure to let me know down in the comments and let me know your thoughts on the products I shared in today's video. The links to all the items I mentioned will be in the description box and check out some of my other IKEA videos up above. I have done tons of them and I think you're really gonna love them. Until next time, have a beautiful day.